Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's me Jens from the Wondershare Demo Creator team and I'm going to be your host today. Most of you are probably very familiar with the so-called let's play or gaming scene here on YouTube. Those are the kinds of people who upload and share their gameplay videos for other people to see. But have you ever noticed that most of them, especially the bigger YouTubers, try to engage with their viewership even more by putting the so-called face cam over their gameplay videos? And that's exactly what we are going to talk about today. How you can overlay your gameplay or maybe even tutorials using a face cam. And do you know which tool we are going to use for this? Obviously Wondershare's Demo Creator because I can't emphasize it enough. Wondershare's Demo Creator is a highly minimalistic but very functional tool which is going to allow you to record your gameplay and the face cam at the very same time and afterwards edit everything in the very same program. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe to the Wondershare Demo Creator channel as well as to click the notification bell down there. This way you are never going to miss out on future updates for Wondershare's Demo Creator or certain giveaways that we are doing from time to time here on this channel. By the way, if you haven't downloaded Wondershare's Demo Creator yet, I invite you to try out the free trial down there at the top of the description below. This is going to redirect you over to our website and there you can download it and follow along with the video. And now we are going to dive right in, shall we? After downloading Wondershare's Demo Creator or updating to the newest version, go over and open it. And then once you open it up, click on to the new recording button. The main recording interface is going to pop up immediately afterwards and now we can start setting everything up. Do you want to record your screen or just part of the screen or do you even want to record a gaming video? Because you know gaming videos are an absolute smash hit amongst YouTubers, Twitch, um, TikTok etc. And we should definitely jump on the bandwagon, shall we? So let us go ahead and set everything up that we need in order for us to create an engaging gameplay together with our face cam. Doesn't matter if you want to record a tutorial or some kind of windowed gameplay. If you want to do one of the two, we are going to choose just a simple screen capture option. Here you can set up the size however you wish. At first, click onto the screen button such that you can activate the screen recording in and of itself and then you can set the part where you want to record the screen. Just drag on the corners here and drag around this window such that you can see which part of the screen you are actually going to record. Or if you want to record a full screen for example, make sure to just drag the corners outwards or go down here into the full screen option. But a good gaming or tutorial video wouldn't be a good gaming or tutorial video if the frames per second were real low or you wouldn't even record your audio. So let us set up a few more things by clicking onto the gear icon. Now a new window is going to pop up where you can set up a few more things. For example, you can set up the frames per second and I invite you to just put it up to the highest value. This way your computer can limit itself if it uh, limits at 60 fps, really doesn't matter. But you can have the option to go higher if your processing power of your computer has the availability. So let's set it up to 120 fps and let's go over to the audio options. Now, a good gaming video isn't engaging if you were not talking to your audience. And if they can't hear what the game has to say or the game music, then it's also not really engaging. So definitely make sure to set the computer audio to capture. This way you are going to capture your game's audio or maybe your just computer audio in general. And also, if you want to record your own voice, make sure to set up a microphone. And once you're done with that, click on to capture. And now we can go ahead recording, for example, a Minecraft Let's Play. Now, as mentioned before, there are going to be two options available now. Either you're going to record your game in windowed mode. This is totally fine, you can do so. And for this, our just screen recording option is totally sufficient. But most of the time, you want to record your gameplay in a borderless mode. If you do so, we're going to go over to the game capture mode where you can set up the game you want to record accordingly. For this, just click onto the controller button down here. Once you're there, you can start choosing a game of your choice. In my case, it's Minecraft, which is running in the background, but you can actually record each and every application because each and every application is going to count as a game for Wondershare's Demo Creator, be it Fusion 360 in the background or your browser. Really doesn't matter. Choose the thing of your choice that you want to record and simply click on it. And just like before, you can set up the frames per second that you feel comfortable with. For example, the highest frames per second possible. And 
the most important part now is next to setting up the audio is setting up your own face cam and this is extremely easy you can either go into the main settings yet again and set up your face cam or you can just go over to the cam symbol that you can find here and activate it and now a new tiny window is going to pop up which is going to be the preview of the face cam that you are recording right now hello there and as promised before, it doesn't get any easier than this. It's, it's really easy. Just a few simple clicks and then you are there at the point where you can start recording by clicking onto the little recording button. One of the chess demo creators, just absolutely awesome, don't you think? And now let's go ahead and create some kind of let's play or tutorial. And once you're done with your recording, you can just simply click F10 yet again. If you have minimized, for example, your window, or you can click onto the red recording button yet again to stop your recording. Now once you're done recording, the built-in editing software is going to pop up completely by itself and even better than that, it's going to help you a little bit with the editing by already dragging your footage down into, oh we got three layers. Let's talk about the three layers that we got here because it's important to know what you can edit now and how you can edit it. Now the first layer that you can see down here in your timeline is the so-called audio layer. This is what you have recorded with your microphone for example. And the next layer, you can most certainly see it already, is your face cam that you have recorded using your webcam for example or your built-in webcam of your laptop. And the last part is the actual screen or game recording that you ended up with. And now you can start editing to your heart's content. Maybe for example you got the situation that you were saying something during an important cutscene and you want to cut out that part. Not a problem at all in Wondershare's demo creator. For this you are going to go to the part where you want to cut out for example the audio, you are going to click onto your audio layer and then you are going to click on the split button. Then go to the end of the cutscene, click on the split button yet again and now start deleting the audio part that you don't want to have there. And that's not all you can do. You can obviously also edit your video layers, for example. And one of the most exciting features about Wondershare's Demo Creator is actually the fact that you are going to get two separate layers for one being the game capture, for example, and the other one being the face cam capture. This has the huge advantage that you can, for example, simply edit your webcam footage up here or down there in the timeline and move it around freely. Depending on the situation, maybe you are going to block a text down there in the left hand corner at, at some point. Then it's not a problem at all. Just move your webcam to the upper right corner for example. Whatever it is you want to do, you can certainly do it with Wondershare's Demo Creator. Next to editing just your webcam and all the other stuff that involves the webcam, like for example the opacity or the scaling or the rotation, which you can do over here. You can also add animations for example, or if you have a green screen behind you, you can key the green screen out and add for example some memes into the background <laughs> which is pretty cool if you ask me and if you want to add animations and the like just go over here or annotations for example um, and just play around with everything that you got here it's very easy to do you have a lot of transitions going on over here that you can use um, or for example you can add some emojis just for the sake of fun why not play around with these options, get creative and create yourself your own engaging gameplay or tutorial video using Wondershare's Demo Creator. And this basically concludes today's video. If this video was helpful and to your liking, definitely make sure to give this video a like as well as to comment some feedback down there in the comments below. I would like to know if what I'm doing here is a good job. So yeah, definitely leave some feedback down there below. And other than that, don't forget to subscribe to the Wondershare Demo Creator channel, activate the notification bell and please stay safe. I bid you farewell and I'm going to see you in the next video. Ciao!